emotional problems lately and uh, not everything's going my way. Things are just not always in my favor. <laughs> oh my god. My throat gets all plumpy when I get upset. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm gonna recover, but no. I just love this song and it brings back memories of me, mate. <laughs> and then he took me outside and showed me. He said, look up in the sky. He said, look as far as you can see in the sky. He says, I'll fly that far for you. Oh my god! He didn't even take me to the ocean and say, look out there! He said, look at this guy! He said, he'll fly for me! It takes more effort to fly than swim! But my emotions slipping all day long. I've just rode that roller coaster of love and been through seven divorces. And I just, I find it so hard to trust people anymore. And it's because my heart's just been broken and shattered and thrown on the ground and stamped upon like it's a dirty welcome rug or something. So now all I do is sit around my lonely house with me and my kitty and eat hot wings and, and chocolate shakes and strawberries and uh, rutabagers on occasion. And every time I think somebody's knocking on my door, it's always the EPS man. Never nobody that loves me. It's always the mailman or the EPS man or the true green grass people. So, I absolutely love YouTube and I love putting my concerns and upsets and, and dissipates and emulates and all that stuff on there for people to see. And I love just the disarrays of congruence. Okay, and we'll stop just trying to be smart. I just want you to hear me, and it seems like today is the only way you have people to hear you if you use them big words. Okay, let me just go ahead and get loud. I went on a date today. And I was just so excited about it because, you know, after I lost my ex, after he walked out, she, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. After my ex, when she walked out on me, she just said, Look at here. All you're doing is gaining weight and getting more and more emotional after every Twinkie you eat. And I said, I eat the Twinkies because you're so mean to me. Because you're so mean to me. Needless to say, say, she didn't understand that. She didn't understand how a Twinkie could take place of, of a woman. And I was like, listen here, sugar. I was like, yeah, that cream and that Twinkie makes me so much more happier than you. And she was like, please, I'll walk out on you all day long. I was like, walk out. I was like, walk out. And I was like, get out of my life. I don't want you in my life anymore anyway. Little Debbie has been done me good. And I told her I was going to stick to them for a while. But another love of my life came in. And and, and, the, and the young lady asked me out on a date. I was like, wow, oh my God, did I have to use the energy to ask her? So we went out on a date and everything was just groovy. We went to the Sonic. You know, you pull up in the drive-thru and you order and the little girl rolls out and roller skates. I was so hoping she'd fall and hit herself and knock her two front teeth out. And then she just asked me for a tip. She gave me a peppermint and she said, where's my tip? And I was like, girl, you want a tip? You better give me a whole bag of Snicker bar. Don't give me no peppermint. But anyway, after we left, we ate Sonic, you know, the big foot long hot dog, and we ate it together. She put one side of the hot dog in her mouth, I put the other side of my mouth, and we ate, ate, ate until our lips met, and 
And of course, Mustard was all in her face after I splatted everywhere, but I think I'm gonna eat them trim spot, the milkshakes that make you eat less, and... But anyway, I was like, with you, sugar, I'm gonna call you tomorrow, and then as I was saying that, we rolled the window up, and I hugged her, and I said, you don't know what this means to me, just to accept me for who I am, and my weight, and all my eating habits, and she said, listen, I, I don't mind it at all, and as soon as she said the word mine, a little, a little noise like that came out her rear end, and I was like, honey, oh my god, please don't start pooting, I was like, that's what happened to my last ex, I always got upset when he pooped, she pooted in the car, and she pooted, and when she pooted, it didn't sound, you know, manly, and so that was good, I guess, it didn't, it wasn't like a, it was more like a, and so, I was like, that's fine. Okay, so I let it slide. I let that little slide. And, you know, and I didn't get upset even until it smelt. Oh, my God. It smelt like vinegar and rotten eggs mixed in a bowl and cooked for 3,800 degrees in the oven. Oh, Lord. It was terrible. I was like, this smells like a science experiment. I was like, honey, we can't go on a date anymore. So that's what happened with that. But, uh, but I hope that you enjoyed listening to me, and I hope it wasn't that much of a disturbance for you, and I hope that we can be friends. I'm sorry for my emotional instability. <laughs> there I go using the big words again. Yeah,